Hi, this is Andy reading a blog post from the Aristich blog. On this one's titled, Read It and Weep. When it comes to crappy spring weather, writers living here can sing Don't Cry For Me, Minnesota to the melody of Don't Cry For Me, Argentina and really mean it. Attached is a screenshot. This is uh, on the written version of this blog post of what might be the worst ever National Weather Service seven-day forecast for April 16th in Duluth, Minnesota. It was issued four days ago. Our typical spring weather is so bad, it's actually funny. This year, it's been even worse. Locals have learned through long experience to laugh when bad weather happens and everything atmospheric goes against them because there's nothing they can do about it. Every rider living here gets this. What I'm going to read you now is not in the podcast. This is the National Weather Service forecast for Duluth, Minnesota for the week that I was referring to in the first part of this podcast. Detailed for, this is all, I'm reading from a National Weather Service, uh, a screenshot of a National Weather Service announcement. Detailed forecast. Today, snow, high near 36. Windy with a north wind of 20 to 25 miles an hour with gusts as high as 40 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation, 90%. Total daytime snow accumulation, 1 to 3 inches possible. Tonight, snow likely, cloudy with a low around 29. Windy with a north wind, 25 to 30 miles an hour with gusts as high as 45 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation, 70%. New snow accumulation, one to three inches possible. Monday. Snow likely, mainly before 7 a.m. Cloudy, then gradually becoming mostly sunny with a high near 42. Windy, with north wind 20 to 25 miles an hour, with gusts as high as 40 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation is 60%. New snow accumulation, less than an inch possible. Monday night. Clear, with a low around 24. Blustery with northwest wind 10 to 20 miles an hour, with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. Tuesday, sunny, with a high near 44. North wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming east in the afternoon. Tuesday night, a chance of snow after 1 a.m., mixing with rain after 4 a.m. Mostly cloudy, with a low around 31. Breezy with an east wind of 20 to 20 miles, 10 to 20 miles an hour with gusts as high as 30 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation, 30%. Wednesday, rain and snow likely, mostly cloudy with, I think you get the idea, it it goes on this way until Saturday, uh, which is a one-week forecast, and the last entry is, chance of snow, partly sunny with a high near 41, breezy with a north wind around 15 miles an hour with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. So basically you got seven days of snow, temperatures in the low 30s, and rain. Arguably, our reliably terrible spring weather is one of two reasons we ended up making some of the planet's best riders gear. Combine truly rotten riding conditions, one, with wanting to ride a motorcycle extra badly after suffering through one of our typically frigid, dark, and snowy Minnesota winters, two, and the solution, three, is an Aristich R3 armored textile rider's coverall. It's as simple as 1 plus 2 equals 3. These suits are highly wind and weatherproof, comfortable wearing, and very quick and easy to put on and remove. Another example of circumstance being the mother of invention. Aerostitch R3s, like many other models of Aerostitch gear, work great for all kinds of riding situations and scenarios. But none of this was ever calculated to help you look like a cool badass or any other kind of hip or knowing rider. Rather, it's moto gear as simple and slightly geeky uh, equipment, which is a functional tool more than a moto fashion statement. It's simply about riding more. So if you enjoy looking at yourself in mirrors or the picture windows of passing stores and shops, this gear probably is not for you. But if, in addition to riding your motorcycle more often, you also enjoy showing up at the occasional meeting or your regular workplace or running routine errands on your motorcycle and having people look at you quizzically and sometimes ask, are you riding a motorcycle? Because the immediate weather at the moment happens to be noticeably less than ideal, 
I hope you'll take a look through our online click functional and pageable catalog here, and then there's a link in the text. You'll be welcome there. This really was an unbelievable and terrible seven-day forecast for mid-April, even for here. Enjoy the ride, Mr. Subjective. P.S. The R3 mentioned above is the current and most advanced third generation of the Roadcrafter one-piece suit, which is the product the Aerostitch business was founded to manufacture 40 years ago. You can watch a short video showing the early real-world testing of the R3 here, and then there's a link in the text version of this blog post. This has been an episode of the reading of an Aerostitch blog post. Thanks for listening, and good writing.